What's up out there in YouTube land? <clears throat> Man in the land trucking. Checking in, get y'all a brief update what's going on with me. Uh, basically, I've just been packing like crazy. Um, got most of the stuff out of the apartment. And I'm just going to let y'all know what's basically been going on with me. Uh, guess what, y'all? The most important thing I packed, in my opinion, is in this video. So if you want to know, you got to wait to the end. Of course, it's going to be at the end. Like, why not? But anyway, um, like I said, most important thing I feel like I packed is going to be in this video. And I'm going to give you a few other things that I packed that I thought was decent or whatever. And a little reason why. It's 7-24, July the 24th. Um, I worked security last night. I worked from 7 o'clock to 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Got off at 7 a.m. It's like 12 something now. Um, basically, after I get finished with the video, take me a little nap and get ready to go back to work. Got to be back to work at 7 p.m. So... Try to knock this out pretty fast and keep it moving. Um, yeah, you see that line right there? Yeah, that line. Had a stocking cap on. Um, took the stocking cap off just to make the video. And I didn't feel like waiting an hour or so for the line to go. So we rocking with the line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. But anyway, uh, basically what's going on with me, like I said, I've been packing like crazy. got most stuff out of the apartment. And I'm going to give you all an update on certain stuff I bought. So I packed a small suitcase and a small duffel bag wasn't working so what I did this morning was I went to Walmart and picked up this right here which is a 32 inch wheeled duffel bag hope y'all can see it um it's pretty straight uh seemed pretty sturdy I don't know if it's gonna hold up but we'll see like it held a lot of clothes too so we're gonna see I hope it hold up it seemed pretty sturdy so I got that this morning it was like 14 bucks and some change. I bought it in a pack of paper. Um, it was like $17 altogether for it. Um, so I got that. Also, too, you know, guys know I do security. Um, I'm a slim guy. I do work out, um, but I'm not super huge or no junk like that. And I know this stuff right here is not going to get me super huge. But I would like to maintain what I do have. So I did pack my resistant bands see all of these shaking anyway i got like four or five of them um i actually had the ones where you just took the bands and actually like clipped them to one handle you can take like multiple bands and clip them to one handle i don't know what i did with them i don't know if i gave them away or what um i tend to do that a lot i don't know what they did i packed my whole apartment up they not in here so i don't know if i gave them away or somebody grabbed them or what like i have no clue but anyway I um, had those already, taking them with me. Um, do a little light workout with those. Just try to maintain what I got. Like I said, I know I'm not going to get huge or no junk like that. So, I got that. And like I said, the most important thing is in this video. So, hold on. We almost there. Ain't got a lot of stuff. Um, also, I stay in South Carolina. Um, it's not super cold here. I don't have, like, basically I only have, like, long sleeve shirts. I don't have, like, no big jackets. I got, like, one leather jacket which my mom bought me for Christmas. I tried it on then, ain't wore it since. Um, but um, basically my game plan is to dress in layers. I took like a, a sweater, like the top part of a jogging suit. Um, I'm taking that with me and some jogging pants. And my plan is to just dress in layers. So I did get, which I already had these, but I never wear them because I live in South Carolina. But it's like the bottoms to like the long giant bottoms or whatever. I'm taking these with me. Um, like I said, my plan is to just dress in layers. So we go to the mountains or something. I know it's going to be super cold or semi-cold. I'm from South Carolina. I'm putting these on. You can laugh, talk how much trash you want to. I'm putting them on, though. This is just me. And also, too, I got, you know, the long john tops or therm or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but, yeah, I already had them. Taking it with me. Yeah, they don't match. I don't care. Like, I'm taking them. Um, I know they're probably going to get dirty and stuff anyway, so they are old pair. Who would, okay, who cares? Um, also, too, I'm not taking these with me, but I'm just going to show you. These are, like, Bluetooth headsets. I actually ordered, like, the Bluetooth trekking headset. Um, the kind of, like, with the mic and stuff that come around. It plays, like, music and stuff on it. I could hook up to a video game, my cell phone, all that good stuff or whatever. So I'm taking them with, them, with me. They actually tried to d deliver them like two days ago. I went here, so I'm going to have to go to the post office and go get them. But I'm just using these for a substitute now. So I did order a pair of like trucking headset. I don't think you need them, but I wanted them, so I got them. 
But I'm not taking these. I'm taking that the ones that actually are. So taking that. Another thing, um, a buddy of mine that does trucking, um, I asked him a few pointers. He told me certain things to take, certain things not to take. And he told me that, the, oh, Chris, if you're watching this, I'm talking about you, buddy. Yeah, you. But uh, he told me the place he went to, they had uh, lockers. So he told me to take a lock. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I am taking a lock. It's a hardened steel lock. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm taking it with me. I'm pretty sure you don't need it, but um, I had a combination lock and stuff, and I know I'm not gonna remember the combination, so I'm not taking it with me. Uh, also, too, I don't think you need a hard and steel lock, but uh, you know, you can take a regular combination lock or whatever, anything to just try to deter somebody from stealing your stuff. Don't know if I'm gonna have a locker, but this little thing, it's not gonna take up that much space or whatever, so it's going in the bag. Um. Yeah, it's going in the bag. And the reason my uh, long johns was rolled up or whatever, because immediately after this, it's going in the bag too. Yes, it's going in the bag. Uh, next thing I think is a really good thing to take. I'm actually probably going to have this on the bus with me while I'm taking the uh, ride or whatever. It's the power bank. Um, this is a cheap one. Like most of my guys that work for me have one. Um, a lot of times we go out in the morning, maybe late at night before we get back. You can't keep running back and forth to the truck to put your phone on the charger. You know, people got other lives and stuff. They try to keep the cell phone on them. Can't be using, you know, our clients' electricity. So most of us got a power bank. This one right here ain't the greatest one in the world, but I know it will keep my phone charged. It won't charge my phone, like, from zero all the way back up to 100, but it will stop it from dying. It's pretty decent. Uh, it was pretty cheap. My buddy was selling them. Um, one of the guys that worked for me actually was selling them. I got it from him or whatever. Like I said, it... It keep my phone charged. I used to be texting and doing all kind of crazy stuff, get you know, phone calls from clients and stuff. So you keep my phone charged long enough to make it back to the house, and that's all I need. Um, and this is the most important thing I pack. The most important thing I think I pack. Um, can't do a drone roll, so I'm gonna do like, I guess I'll do the camera like this to make it dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is the most important thing I pack. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all like two seconds to guess. One. Two. Did you guess? Okay, what was your guess? Say it. Like, I want to hear you say it. Don't lie to me now. So let's see if you got it right. The most important thing I think I packed was the Holy Bible. Yes, I'm a Christian. You can say I'm lame or whatever. Yeah, I'm a Christian or whatever. Um, It's actually a pocket-sized Bible. It's not like the the hotel or motel room bible actually it's the full bible the king james version it's the full bible i bought it many years ago um i think i paid like between 30 maybe 45 bucks for it might have been a little bit more um but you know i'm taking it with me i usually keep it in my back back pocket or whatever um actually stop stop me from cussing so much usually when i had this on me i don't cuss um it ain't real book or whatever. It, it ain't big as my wallet. Like, I'm trying to turn it sideways. I got to kind of open and turn it the other way. That's the spine part of it. It's not real booky. I wish I had my wallet. Oh, I do got my wallet in my pocket. But um, it's nowhere as thick as my wallet is. I'm trying to grab my wallet now. But um, yeah, it's just starting to cussing. And I think that's the most important thing that I paid. Um, like I said, I um, try to stay in the word and stuff. Um, I'm not perfect or nothing like that. Y'all can talk all kind of trash or whatever. I'm lame, this, that, and the third or whatever. But I felt like that was the most important thing that I packed. Uh, you may have other views or whatever, but like I said, it's my channel, my rules. Um, this is my wallet. See how thick that is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, super thick. But, um, yeah. So that's what I felt like the most important thing that I packed was the Bible or whatever. Um. Hope y'all got some useful information out of this. Uh, if not, you know, check other places. If you look up, you know, YouTube videos or whatever, go online. I'm pretty sure you're going to find a lot of stuff, a lot of good content. I'm about to go on 10 minutes, so I'm about to sign out. Man of the Land Trucking. Uh, if you do like this, like and subscribe or whatever. If not, like I said, just keep typing in uh, stuff about trucking. I'm pretty sure you'll find some useful content out there. Man of the Land is out, and I'm about to go to bed. Have a good one, guys.